Hey guys, in this video we are going to install 50 solar panels and 3 Tesla Power Wolves 3. If you're interested, let's jump into the video. Also, while walking on the roof, I found one interesting spot here. It looks like it was some vent pipe or something here. But I'm just gonna mark this area and put X not to step here because if I step, of course, I can damage the shingle. The shingles on the video looks like it's a straight line, but in reality it wasn't, so I'm doing chuck line to install all L foods in one straight line. Now I'm going to drill all rafters, and uh, for this project uh, we need to use 99 pieces of iron rich flash food too. Also one potential installation process is when we insert this one, we're hitting nail somewhere here. So what we can do is to lift these shingles and remove nail and seal this nail. However, we see that glue is really good on these tiles because it's fresh and it's hard to remove. A lot of this glue is gonna stay on a pry bar after we're removing them. And all of this area is nicely sealed. So what we can do is just to see where is the nail. And in our case, center is somewhere here. Now we can insert pry bar lift and uh, it's gonna tear shingles and the uh, nail is gonna be below level this layer now we can insert this one we have to lift this little bit yeah and now all of this glue is gonna stay in place the nail is gonna be behind the metal and in my opinion it's a little bit better than lifting these shingles and sealing with a sealant Here is a delivery truck with all equipment. We are going to use 28 pieces of Iron Ridge XR10 rails, 3 Tesla power walls here, and 50 seal fab 420 watts solar panels. Finish on day one. Did install all L foods. Move right in here. Right there we have solar panels delivered. So here's all sealant that I used. So here's a seal fab 50 panels. And right there. Gonna be three power walls. And here's all rails mounted. Next step is gonna be to run conduits between those arrays, sub arrays, those two. Junction box is gonna be right there. So we'll have to run one conduit here then all of this panel is gonna go conduit is gonna be here and then from these panels over roof and we'll go to same junction box so today is the day three of installation uh, yesterday did mount power walls and start conduits there today i'm gonna run conduits on the roof to connect all sub rays uh, run wires uh, install junction box right there and um, Maybe we'll start panels, we'll see. Now I'm going to install flashing to run conduit between upper and lower sets of solar panels. Whenever you're cutting EMT conduit and if rim are too far, you can just take a small piece of same conduit and rim with it.
now we can start lifting panels onto the roof and mount them. And here's the end of day four. We did mount all of these panels. We did run all wires from power walls on that side to this side where electrical panel like here through attic. It was a lot of work and hard. It was warm. And uh, this panel's done. So we're gonna get here Monday. Today's Friday. See you guys. Now I'm going to unbox power walls and install them. They're gonna rest on the ground. That means I just need to leave them a few inches to hang them on a bracket and it makes installation of them much easier. And here's the location where all the power walls are going to be mounted. We're going to have two of them on the right side from the window. And uh, one of them is going to be here on the left side. Now I'm going to mount brackets for power walls. And the first step is to find the stud. And uh, I know that stud is going to be somewhere here. So then I measure 32 inch from here and doing small pilot hole. We can see that we have wood here at the end, so that means we got into the stud. And if I push a drill bit, it's hitting something. For sure we did penetrate a stacker and we got into the stud. So now from the stud we can do 16 inch, it's going to be next stud, then we'll pass 16 inch and install second power wall here. Level all three power walls with a laser level and just doing this mark then transferring this mark on the left side of the wall here and uh, I'm measuring 32 inch and making this mark right here with a laser level it's probably hard it's not gonna be visible right now but this is vertical line horizontal line and uh, here it's gonna be stud on the same level that those two mounts. all three power walls mounted. Main electrical panel located on the other side of the house, so we have to run 6 gauge wires from power walls to main electrical panels, 3 sets of wires, then uh, one communication cable and uh, 3 cables for emergency stop button. Now here's the mark where we're going to penetrate the wall and uh, it's on the same level that we have penetration there from this power wall. 
So first step, I'm gonna deal with a small drill bit and make sure no obstructions there, like studs or something else. And we are on the attic and right there is our drill bit. So we're good to do penetration here. I don't have concrete hole saw for inch in a quarter. So I'm just taking a small hole saw and making a rounded shape for inch and a quarter. And then drilling all of this with a small drill bit and I'm gonna finish with a hammer and chisel. Now we can seal all of this and we have ideal penetration. Entire array subdivided to five strings, which are landing in this junction box. In the main electrical panel, we're going to install three 60 amps breakers. On the left side, we're going to have three AC disconnects, and at the bottom is going to be emergency stop button. Alright guys, that's all about this installation, I hope you'll find something useful and as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.